Paris. It's beautiful buildings, it's vibrant culture, and it's rampant public urination problem. The city of love has been battling this rather stinky nuisance since the 19th century, more precisely since 1834, when the Count of Rambuteau, prefect of the Seine, created the first modern urinals, les pissoirs. Yet any visitor with a functioning sense of smell can tell that almost exactly two centuries later, the issue remains. The French even have a name for it, les pipis sauvages, or wild pee. Sur le chemin, on voit constamment ça. Bon, on voit pas les gens, mais on sent l'odeur, etc. Ça pas normal, mais je me suis tellement habituée à ces genres de personnes, même quand j'en croise dans la rue, qui pissent dans la rue, je me dis que bon, il fait sa vie. Of course, peeing in the wild is wildly illegal. And yes, fine aside, there's an obvious fix, public washroom. But in Paris, as in many other French cities, those don't always seem to do the trick. So why is this? I set out to investigate. Dans l'imaginaire euh, euh, français, est-ce que c'est pareil ailleurs? Je suis pas tout à fait sûr. Euh, ça fait partie des options possibles. Ça fait partie des options possibles qui ne mettent pas véritablement en cause la moralité d'une personne. Behavioral psychologist Nicolas Fiolaine says that in France, hygiene became a taboo in the 19th century when the country's public health movement was born. Hygienism, as it was called, revolutionized cities like Paris because it taught residents how to dispose of garbage. But, Fiolaine says, this philosophy also conveyed a sense of shame around anything deemed dirty or linked to bodily fluids. Par là, il y a une espèce de rapport un peu tabou où on ne regarde pas en face et quand euh, euh, on est exposé à d'autres toilettes, les toilettes à la turque, euh, les Français sont dégoûtés par ces toilettes parce que ça oblige à se retourner vers les matières dont on vient de se débarrasser. Plus, public urinals in Paris have historically had a bad reputation. In the 1960s, France's National Assembly voted to remove most of them, to stop homosexual couples from meeting there. And it was only two decades later, in 1981, that the first public unisex washroom appeared in the French capital. La majorité des personnes du coup qui font pipi dans la rue, genre dans les publics, et bah c'est les hommes. Bizarrement, c'est toujours les hommes. Today, local authorities struggle to change behaviors, and yes, it's mostly male behaviors. Measures against public urination have included anti-pee paint, which is supposed to splash back at those relieving themselves, open-air urinals, and even an infamous set of flower pot-shaped urinals. Il faut éviter cette solution qui consiste à dire quand il y a un problème quelque part, ben on met un urinoir en dessous et puis ça va le faire. Non, parce que ben ils vont uriner là, puis ailleurs, puis ailleurs, et ça donne ce sentiment de liberté, de, de puissance sur l'espace public qui en plus exclut d'autant plus les femmes, parce que c'est une forme d'appropriation forte. Hein, euh, le, ben, voilà, uriner quelque part, c'est euh, marquer son territoire, etc. Could design enable or deter urinators in the wild? That's the theory Fiolan tested when he was hired by France's National Rail Service to lead their nudge unit, a team whose goal is to influence user behaviors with innovative techniques. Donc, je peux vous montrer. In 2019, they debuted a system of visual cues to stop people from urinating in train stations. They targeted well-known spots, mainly corners like this one, which felt secluded enough to attract those looking for a quiet place to relieve themselves. Rather than installing a urinal, the team decided to alter the place's look so that suddenly it wouldn't feel quite so safe to unzip right then and there. On a mis en place en fait un capteur euh, pour voir si ce nudge était efficace et on a atteint en moyenne moins 80% d'épanchement à ces endroits. Admittedly, it may be hard to paint all over Paris' street corners. But this experiment, which has now been deployed in several stations around the city, goes to show one thing. Attitudes can change, and sometimes all you need is a little nudge. <laughs>